Hello, IDS 105 students, and welcome to your IDS 105 learning community focus video for week two. This quick focus video is only going to walk you through how to find your project draft templates, how to access it, where to click on it, and how to fill it out and then get it submitted for your success here in your IDS 105 class. So as always, to find your assignments from week to week, you always want to go underneath course menu, click on learning modules, and then you want to look for the week that you are actually in. For purposes of this video, we are focusing in on module two. So you can click on module two and a couple of things I wanted to point out, which are really important as you go to complete any of your assignments in any of the modules is you always want to make sure that you click on the introduction for the module and review any of the learning objectives and go through the module overview. Make sure you are scrolling all the way down and clicking over throughout each part of the module. One thing I wanted to point out is it's really important to make sure that you are reviewing the content within your modules from week to week because there's a lot of concepts and terminology covered actually within your module. So for example, here in this module two overview and guide, you will see um, that there is a lot of reading and terminology that'll help you complete your assignments for module two, week two. A lot of students sometimes accidentally click over this or miss it, and I wanted to make sure that I pointed that out. So make sure you're reviewing from the top to the bottom and scrolling all the way through the content. And then of course, clicking over into your required resources section. Every module will have a required resources section, and this is any reading or videos or other things that you might be responsible for viewing for your success and understanding the concepts and terminology that you're covering from week to week. This is in addition to what is written within the module. So you'll notice that it'll have any chapters that are assigned for your textbook, and it might have any direct video links for you to be able to go through and view as convenient for you to help you understand the concepts and terminology you're covering from week to week. As you scroll through and click over, um, you will be able to get into where your actual assignments are. So for module two, you do have a warm up, which is like an open book quiz. You can take it as many times as you need to. It's not timed. Um, but with this assignment, you want to make sure that you just have it completed by Sunday. What I really wanted to focus in on is where to find that project draft. So course menu, learning modules. Let's go into the assignment information. And when you click on that, you'll see you have this module two project draft guidelines and rubric. Go ahead and click on it and it's going to pull up an overview and directions of the project. So what you are doing here in IDS 105 is you are going to have project drafts that you are going to complete here in module two, week two, module three, week three, module four, week four, and then module five, week five. OK. You are going to have project drafts for each of those weeks that you have to submit by Sunday of the week that they are assigned. What each of these project drafts do is they build upon each other to complete what is called a guidebook or your final project that is due in week seven. So you will be working on that guidebook final project all term long. OK, so it's really important to understand that you are going to be utilizing a template for this assignment and you are going to pick a scenario. So you will notice in the directions that there's these quick little blurbs about the three scenario options that you have. There's a school scenario, a personal scenario, and a workplace scenario. These are just very quick little blurbs about the scenarios. To actually get more details and information, you want to scroll down to where it says scenario profiles. Click the blue, get to do where you want to go, and it's going to pull up this section of your classroom that kind of has the extended information about each scenario. So you will notice for school, personal, and workplace that there is this overview that gives you some more information about this scenario, and then you'll see a couple of conflicts listed underneath each one. For purposes of your module two project draft, you are only focusing in on the scenario. You are not going to do anything with the conflicts until way down the line in module five. So just know week two, week three, week four, you are focusing in on the scenario that you're going to pick and then any personal experiences you might have with the concepts and terminology to help you answer the assigned questions from week to week in your project drafts. OK, so again, you're going to pick either school, 
personal or workplace. Pick something that interests you or something that you have experience in or maybe something that's way outside your comfort zone because you want to do something new. But whatever scenario you pick, you stick with it all term long. So remember that, okay? Now, if you go back underneath the guidelines and rubric, again, like I mentioned, there's an overview of the assignment and then you have the directions and it'll remind you in here too that you're gonna select one of those scenarios and worry about the conflict later. But as you scroll down, you will notice that you are answering part one, social justice of the template. So these are the four questions that you're answering in but the template itself is actually underneath what to submit. So if you click on project template, it is going to open up a Word document. Your Word document, when you open it up, will not have all these highlights. These highlights are just here to make it easy to point out what you're answering from week to week for purposes of these videos, okay? When you open it up, it's going to have no highlights. At the very top, it might say that you have to enable editing, just click enable editing, which what that means is it allows you to type directly in the template. So you'll notice when you pull this up in module two, that this template has several parts. There's part one, part two, and part three. This document, like I said, is a working document that you're working on all term long. So it's really important to pay attention to what you're answering which week within the module, okay? So part one, you are answering four questions for module two. You are answering, explain the difference between justice, fairness, and equality in this scenario. Question two, describe how bias can influence your perception of social justice in this scenario. Question three, describe how different narratives in society can impact your perception of social justice. Question four, describe the core principles of social justice in your scenario, okay? That is what you are answering. Once you answer those questions, you want to save the document and upload it underneath the assignment submission area of your classroom so your faculty can grade it, all right? The other thing I wanted to point out is I know you see all the rest of these questions. You're not doing these until later in the modules and you'll see that they're um, outlined with what module you're answering what question in. Your focus for module two, week two, is just this part one, these four questions, okay? Now, a couple of things I wanted to share is first and foremost, if you do not yet have Microsoft Word or something compatible, click on this help little down arrow, go to online student services, and it is going to pull up all the departments here at the university. If you scroll about halfway down, you'll see Office 365 and other software. Click the blue, Get to where you want to go, follow the prompts and get it downloaded to your system so that you will have Microsoft Word available to you to open up the templates and type right in them and be able to submit your assignment successfully. Your faculty need to have Microsoft Word or something compatible to be able to actually open and grade your work. The other thing I wanted to remind you guys of is if you're stuck, you're a little unsure of your writing academically, you want to make sure you did it right, can always reach out to your instructor. We want you to be successful in your classes, so please reach out to us with any questions. But I do encourage you to utilize the academic support written feedback services. If you click on academic support, it brings up the menu of all the options they have. They have all kinds of tutoring, workshops, different um, coaching options, but I wanna center in on this written feedback. This is where you can click the try it now and you can upload and submit your drafts and assignments for written feedback. So when you do this, a little dial, a little box pops up and it asks you like specifically what you want the tutor to focus on. And then you upload your writing assignment. This could be like your project draft. It could be a discussion. It could be a journal as long as it's a university assignment. And then when you submit it, you get targeted feedback within 12 hours. This can be really helpful just to make sure that your writing makes sense, that your writing is clear, that you're answering the objectives of the assignment. And I will tell you for these um, project drafts, remember in the end, you're putting together this guidebook, okay, that you're working on all term. So as you answer the questions, it is so helpful to give lots of details and use examples to help connect the concepts and the terminology to your scenario, okay? The other thing I wanted to point out that a lot of students sometimes miss is underneath this, um, help area. If you click on student tutorial videos, a lot of you might be new to Brightspace. So this is kind of a Brightspace YouTube page from the university that guides you through 
how to submit your assignments and in, in your, sorry, guides you through your assignment instructions and how to submit your assignments, like journal assignments, like any project drafts, projects, anything like that. Also, there's a discussion overview. There's a my snoo overview. There's a lot of stuff in here that I wanted to point out that a lot of students tend to miss. So as a reminder for this class, course menu, learning modules, everything you need is underneath module two. Um, for your project draft, click on those guidelines and rubrics, review the overview, the directions, pick your scenario, focus just on this scenario, and you're answering the part one social justice questions in that project template. If you get stuck, if you have questions, you're not sure on something, please reach out and let us know. You got this.